hi guys welcome back to my channel and in the previous video i have discussed about what is morphological models and we have discussed about one of the morphological model called dictionary local and now we are discussing about finite state morphology so this finite state morphology is also used to analyze the structure of a word but it uses finite automata and formal language theory in order to analyze a word okay so it is also used for generation and recognition tasks so before discussing what this generation and recognition means first you have to know some first you have to know some basics of formal language theory so in formal language theory we will be having states and transitions so states can be starting state or ending state so the starting state can be represented by one circle okay and the ending state is represented by this two circles that means you can't go further from this state and the transition transition is nothing but changing from one state to another so this transitions are represented by using arrow symbol or it might be self loop sometimes so uh, this is nothing but uh, one fo formal finite automata so whenever you are giving some input it will be giving some output from after reaching the end state so let me discuss about finite state transducers so why this finite state transducers came here is so whatever the finite state morphological model we are using that model or that process is represented by this finite state transducers only so if uh, in order to get the clear understanding of this first you need to understand this example so let me take a word grace this is nothing but a base word there are no prefixes or suffixes to it so let me take this grace word so let me uh, draw the finite automata for this so uh, you can see that from q0 to q1 there is only one transition that is only stem if you give input as grace it will give the base word from it and that base word is nothing but grace okay now i am adding some prefix to this grace that is nothing but this i am adding this so what is the finite automata for this so you can see here from q0 to q1 i have added the transition prefix and from q1 to q2 i have added the transition stem that is nothing but the base word so in to in uh, in combination you will be getting the word disgrace as the output and then i am adding a suffix to this base word so this is the finite automata for that and uh, i'm adding suffix and also the prefix so this is the final automata for that so you have to draw a finite state transducers so that all these examples will be fitting in one finite automata so if you see if you see here this is the starting state and epsilon is nothing but null epsilon is nothing but null value and here we will be having two end states two ending states we will be having that is q2 and q3 so now take the word grace so from q0 to q1 i am taking epsilon so epsilon plus q1 to q2 it is the stem stem is nothing but grace so what what word you are getting is grace grace word you are getting so we got this word from this so now take this grace okay so you need to add prefix to that word so this plus so what is the stem word that is grace so what you are getting is disgrace i am stop stopping here because this is the end state you can you can go further if you if you, if you have suffix for it okay then you have graceful now uh, there is no prefix for this word so take epsilon epsilon and then you have the base word so the stem word you will be having take grace and then you will be having the suffix so full you add what you are getting graceful and then you have disgraceful so which is a combination of uh, the prefix base word and the suffix so you are getting the word disgraceful so you can see these all words are fitted in this one finite automata okay this is nothing but the finite state transducers so or whatever the finite state model we are using so that is represented by this finite state transducer so now coming to what is this generation and recognition is so generation so whenever you are giving a word 
to that finite automata so you will be getting the new words as the output suppose if you are giving grace as input to this particular state it may output you disgrace graceful or disgraceful so this is nothing but the generation task so what is recognition recognition is nothing but uh, whenever you give the input as disgrace graceful or disgraceful so it will be giving you the output as grace so that is nothing but recognition it will recognize the base word from whatever the word you give it will recognize the base word in recognition task and when it comes to generation task it will generate the new words by adding prefixes or suffixes from that base word so this is about finite state morphology and in my next video i will be discussing about another morphological models thank you